Hello again, and uh, this time in this video we're looking at dividing with fractions. Okay, so again, uh, let's just talk about a few basic things. First of all, um, remember that a fraction consists of a numerator and a denominator. Okay, the denominator tells me into how many pieces something has been divided, and the numerator tells me how many of those pieces I have. Okay, now before we continue, we first need to look at something called the reciprocal. The reciprocal. I don't know how to spell it, but I know how to say it. It's reciprocal. Okay, or it can be the inverse. Now, the inverse just means the, uh, the opposite or the, uh, the different way around, or there's actually a lot of words we can use to describe inverse, but th the point being the reciprocal or the inverse is the denominator over the numerator. Okay, so in other words, if I used to have a half, then re the reciprocal is 2 over 1. Now the reciprocal in the, um, the original is not the same value at all. I mean a half and two ones is not the same. One two it okay and two two ones is not the same okay so uh, they don't have the same value but there is something about them that is important and and let me describe it like this. Let's say we have a half. Okay there's half of something that's supposed to be round okay and if I were to take that half and I were to divide it in with two okay means I take uh, divide it into two pieces okay so if I take a half and I divide it into half again then I have what was originally so there's the full one now I have what we is originally a quarter. In other words, if I take a half and I divide it with two, my answer is a quarter. Half of a half, half of a half is a quarter. Okay, that's kind of what it boils down to. Okay, now what I want to show you here is that when I divide with two, it or when I divide with a number which is actually two, two over one. Okay, uh, two ones is the same as multiplying with the reciprocal. In other words, one over two divided by two over one or just two is the same as one over two times the reciprocal. In other words, changing that around. Okay, and that gives me, we've, we've looked at that in the previous video, a video is multiplying the numerator with numerator is 1 and denominator with denominator is 2 times 2 is 4 and that's what we saw here okay so so let me illustrate it uh, in another way okay let's say I want I have uh, let's say I have something I divide it into six pieces okay which means I first divide it into three and then I divide it into halves again and I'm looking at one of these pieces so let's just look at one of these pieces okay here's my one piece so I have a sixth now I want to divide a sixth with a half okay so the question is actually how many times does a half divide into a sixth. Okay, well we know a half can't divide into a sixth. Okay, so, well actually if I say a half can't divide into a sixth, I just mean that a half is bigger than a sixth, so it won't be a, a, a number bigger than one or a whole number at least. But it does go in a fraction of the time, so in other words a half or sixth divided by a half would still be a fraction and if and, and it actually asks if I look at I make this now my whole so there's my whole here's a half okay there's a half 
Okay, and now I consider the half as the whole. Okay, so this is everything. So forget about that that used to be a bigger portion. This is everything. And this is a sixth of what used to be everything. But now I'm only looking at half of everything as everything. That sounds weird, but hopefully some of you might follow me. And now you'll see that of half of the original, six, a sixth is a third of that. Okay, now I don't know if that makes sense. It's difficult to explain it. I can't think of another way to explain it. The point being that 1 over 6 divided by 1 over 2 is equal to a third. Okay, so um, let's look at the, the way I just explained it here. To divide is the same as to multiply with the reciprocal. Okay, so to divide with a half is the same as to multiply same as to multiply with the reciprocal 2 over 1 and then what we get is 1 times 2 is 2 well actually we, we learned before we should first cancel common factors so that's 2 goes into itself once and into there 3 times so 1 times 1 is 1 and 3 times 1 is 3 do you see we still get the same answer than we would have using an, an illustration or maybe a graphic representation. Okay, so the point being that if I have a fraction, a, num a numerator divided by a denominator, and this fraction is divided by another fraction, let's call that fraction A over B then the simple method is simply swapping the divide after the, changing the divide into a times and taking the reciprocal in other words swapping these two around now it is important that you keep in mind that it it's not the first factor that's being swapped around okay it's only the second one that one i am dividing with in other words, if I, if I, instead of using a divide line, rather use, uh, sorry, the divide sign, rather, rather use a divide line. In other words, a fraction in the numerator and a fraction in the denominator. Okay, here we can see a fraction there and a fraction here. This can change into numerator over denominator times and now again it's the fraction in the denominator that gets swapped around to become b over a okay so i think you have it and uh, an easy way to remember it is tip and times one of my students taught me that i don't know where he got it from but i i like to use it now that when I divide with fractions, divide with fractions, okay, this is what I do. I tip and times. Cool. I hope this helped, and I see you in the next video where we'll do some examples. See you there.